What a day! I've got nothing done because everybody in my family decided they wanted to call me today. Um, they all do it at the same time because they all live on the East Coast and it just like, it's like they get together and like, I'm gonna call her today. Hi, welcome back. So today I want to share with you my go-to kind of event makeup look. It's not anything crazy, like full glam beat, um, super structured or anything like that. And it also changes with the time of year and the seasons and what my skin's doing that day. So it's not like a full lock, like this is my, every single time I have somewhere to be and I need my makeup to last, I do this exact look, but it's more or less around this type of look. Using mainly powder products today, surprisingly, and I'm using three different eyeshadow products on my eyes too. You can achieve this look with a variety of different makeup products. You don't necessarily need to own any of these products that I'm about to use. You can achieve this with any type of makeup product. It's just more so like the order and the application. It's about um, structuring the face and then setting it. This is my kind of like go-to event makeup that I know will last the entire night and it's not going to um, smudge or be weird or fade. Anyways, let's get to it. So I did my brows and primed my face with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Soothing Priming Moisturizer. Almost out of that, I really, really love it. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna be taking a mixture of my favorite base product. This is the NARS Tinted Moisturizer and this is in the shade Light One Finland with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade two. I'm gonna take two little dabs of product and kind of dab this all over my face so I'm not applying too much. And then I'm going to take the Hollywood Flawless Filter and take this up onto the high points first so more product is there. I'm blend this in with a very damp sponge. Next I'm going to be taking the Kosas Radiant Creamy Concealer. Right now my skin is doing pretty good so I don't feel the need to have to uh, conceal as much as a full coverage look would kind of need. Filming today is just kind of, I'm kind of off today. Uh, everything just keeps falling and I keep forgetting what I'm saying. I'm taking the damp sponge and blending that in as well. So I use the shade uh, 3.2 and 3.0 W. So an olive and a warm. So when doing a full glam look that is going to last you the entire night, I like to work in very thin layers. I want to next go in with a product that's going to give me some dimensionality. So I'm going to use this cream bronzer by Say and take my damp sponge and go along the perimeters of my face to add that dimensionality. I'm then going to be setting it with a powder bronzer to kind of lock it in and make sure that it lasts throughout the entire night. To also take it up through my brow bone, kind of into my eyebrows and along the sides of my nose to set up a more chiseled type of look. And everybody's face is different, so if you want to carve out your nose or in this area a little bit more. That is totally up to you. Um, I'm going to try and do a little bit more of a softer look since I'm not actually going anywhere. Sharpen this up with powder later. I also like to take the bronzer higher up on the cheekbones, kind of like where the blush goes, because I feel like that looks a little bit more natural. Set the face, I'm going to be using the Ilia Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I think the shade is called Fade Into You. I'm going to be taking my damp sponge again and taking this up under the eye and up onto the cheekbones, lightly dabbing. And then I'm going to be taking on a little onto the chin, blow out your cheeks to get your smile lines full. There we go. And then I like to run it slightly right here to kind of lift up the face even more. Down, 
the center of the nose. I don't like to be super precise with this because then I feel like it can kind of lean into, I don't want to say drag makeup, but it can kind of get a little uh, too sharp and looking a little bit more like you're about to go on stage. What's really great about that powder is it doesn't really take away the glow from your face. It'll lipstick just jumped off my desk. So I'm gonna be taking a powder highlight, the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 1. This is a very, very subtle highlight. This is not a strobing, highlighted to the gods type powder whatsoever. I like to take this up onto the temple, more towards the forehead, kind of where a natural highlight would be. And as you see here, this just added to the kind of like incandescent type of light onto my face. It didn't really give me any sort of like metallic strobe or anything like that. To set my bronzer, I'm going to be taking the NARS Laguna bronzer and just focusing it the higher end of the hollows of the cheeks and really blending it together with the rest of the powders that are on the face. This will help diffuse it. It doesn't look like you just have like a line of uh, brown pigment on your face. Cause there's nothing worse than getting as far as you can with your makeup and then it ended up the bronzer looking muddy on you. To take this up onto the forehead as well. be taking the Laura Mercier blush in the shade Fresco. This is a beautiful neutral brownie pinky nude and it's one of my favorite powder blushes ever and it lasts so long on the cheeks you don't have to worry about this fading at all. And I like to take this higher up more onto the cheekbones where we focused the highlighter and bringing it down to the center of the face. Taking a little bit up onto the forehead as well to kind of marry all of the pigments that we just put onto our face. Yeah, that looks very nice. Take my bangs down, I feel weird. Since I hate being on camera without anything on my lips, I'm going to take my NYX uh, lip liner in the shade, what's this, nude beige? Yeah, a nude beige. Now on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Oyster Pearl. I'm going to be using kind of a conglomerate of different eyeshadows today. This as the base. Zoom in. This is a very beautiful taupey shade with different types of shimmer running through it. Uh, it's the perfect one and done, it just really will lock everything in and provide the best base for a very easy but complex looking look. Man, my lip is just really, ugh. And that's it, that was like one dab, like that was like one swirl in the product and that was enough for a really good base for both eyes. And I really feathered this out. Like it blended out with like no problem whatsoever. Next eyeshadow that I'm going to be using today is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Space Cowboy, the very beautiful multi-dimensional wet looking eyeshadow topper. It has um, different shades of glitter and a not a transparent, but a beigey base pigment with like purple and silver glitters dispersed throughout and it creates the most wet looking eyeshadow. This is one of my favorite combinations. It's kind of my go-to, especially with um, knowing that I want something to last a long time and wanting something to look really good. Like it, it never fails me. This look never ever fails me. Normally I would stop here, 
But lately, I have been incorporating another topper. I'm gonna take the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Duo in the shade Naked Bronze. I'm just taking the top shade here, and I'm going to be putting this onto the center and up into the brow bone. And this just adds just a little extra, a little extra something something. It's just so like wet looking and so gorgeous. Like I just can't even handle it. I just can't. I wonder if I can get a good, like look how, I haven't figured out like my white balance or anything. So my skin looks really like green right now. Um, but I promise you in real life, it's not, but just look at how wonderful this is. This is one of these looks that you can wear day or night. Love Every single time I do this, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's so pretty. To finish off the lips, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink Lipstick. This is one of my favorite nudes. It's a light neutral pink that has a lot of like yellowy beige in it, so it's not too pink. You can get this to really lean warm or cool, depending on what kind of lip liner you use. I think it's super versatile, it's very comfortable. I like to wear something that's going to last through eating and drinking, but also isn't drying and makes my lips get chapped throughout the night. I'm very susceptible to chapped lips, as you can see. <laughs> um, and you can also see how opaque that is based on how it covered up my like very chapped lip um yeah so there is that I'm just kind of dab it a little bit there I don't know if my lighting is off today I'm trying to decide if I want to go in with another highlight or if this is where I want to stop. I think I like the subtleness of this just using the Laura Mercier. So I went ahead and finished off my eyes with the Tower 28 mascara. This is the new mascara that they just came out with. Um, it's absolutely incredible. It takes no effort at all to get a very voluminous lash look. I recommend this more. It's, it's so good. It's so, so good. I've been reaching for it so, so much. Um, and that says a lot because I'm one of those creatures of habit, especially with mascara. And for me to introduce a new mascara and be like, yep, love it. And kind of put everything else to the side, that says a lot. So yes, I love this. It's very, very reliable. I'm really happy with this makeup look. Every single time I do it, I'm like, mm. it's just one of those things where it's so nice to just use, um, more stable type of products and not worry about like if all the creams are blended, you know? Uh, yeah, I just, and, it, and it's not going anywhere. Like that's, that's on there. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy. Every time I do this look, I'm always like, thank you so much for watching. That was my interpretation of a full beat wearing this look when I have somewhere nice to be or if I want or if I'm going to be somewhere where I need my makeup to last all night. Not so much a powder girl. If you've watched my channel you know that I, I love, I, I gravitate mostly towards cream products but I do deem these powder products to be not only long lasting but really high performing. That is the look I hope you enjoy. Remember, you don't need to go out and buy all of these products that I'm using. Uh, this is a very dupable look. So much for watching. Uh, bye!